Hi everyone. Uh, the purpose of today's video is to demonstrate how to import PDF files into IDEA. And this is a really powerful tool and method because oftentimes you'll get data that's not in IDEA format, especially if you're not a heavy analytics user. So this is good for your everyday financial auditors. So oftentimes you'll get like a AP schedule something similar to this with all the AP transactions that have happened throughout the year, uh, sorted by vendor. So you'll see this format here. I've already created the IDEA project. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import it. I may have to close the file first, but we'll give it a shot. So the concept of importing PDF files or report files in IDEA is you have to create what we call layers. And these layers, typically layers come at two levels. One is the detailed levels. So each of these individual transactions. So you'll see this is a detailed level. The one I'm gonna highlight right now. And then that, it's a detailed level because it contains all the transaction information. Then you also have the header level information, which is like, it's sorted right now by vendor. So this would, the vendor would be the header level information that needs to be carried down to each of the. So what you need to do first is you pick a, pick a detailed line or you pick a header line, and then you have to somehow tell IDEA how to figure out what's a detailed line and what's not a detailed line, or what's a header line, what's not, what is a, uh, yeah, what's a detailed line, what's not a detailed line, what's a header line, what's not a header line. So in this case, if you look here, what I notice is that the date contains two numbers slash two, num two numbers slash four numbers, and you have a couple options. You can either text, they call it traps, either pick somewhere. So in this case, I'm going to say that if this is always a number, highlight it, treat it as detailed. This is always a number, space, number, number, space, 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 uh, oh, number, number, number. So you have text, numeric, space, which basically literally means just space or non blank traps. So that could be like if you have dashes or whichever. So now you scroll down, see that it looks like it works out pretty well. You'll notice that the page break is always highlighted, but that's just because it's always highlighted. It's not actually text. And you'll see that it's a slightly different color if you really pay attention. So you see okay, that looks pretty good. Next thing I need to do is define fields. So what you do here is you go up here, Highlight. I'm going to call this source, and I'm going to treat it as a character field, and that's all I need to do. This next one is the date. I'm going to treat it as a date field. I'm going to call uh, it mass first. That's not a problem. So what the concept of the mass is it's telling us how can the how can idea figure out whether or not it's um, month, month, day, day, year, 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 or whether it's day, day, year, year, whatever, right? So this is basically the format that idea should follow. I'm gonna read the date, and then I'm gonna call this date. And then up here, we're gonna, we're gonna go to here. I'm gonna call this transaction type. Leave that, that's good. And now, I'm going to do here, just a quick look. I'm really going to go from here, and this should capture most, if not all, of decimal places. So I'm going to call this amount, make it two decimal places. That's good. Um, that's good. So now, once we're done with that, press save layer. Now we need to go to the header layer. So I'm going to pick one of these headers. So this vendor belongs to these four transactions below. So what I'm going to notice here is that, OK, so like, for example, here is a is a vendor, Grand Toy. So what I notice is that the first character is not blank. So I'm going to put here. And then all the detailed lines, it will be blank. So fine but now what we, the problem is that we have total outstanding there's a couple ways we can treat it like this one is we can identify where all the total outstanding is always the same so we we could put uh 
I'll like figure out where there's space, but it doesn't seem like a perfect science. And what I notice here is that all the vendor lines will be blank. So all the total <coughs> total ones will actually have stuff in it. Well, we'll have like the amount. So oh, let me decrease this to an anchor. Go up here. I'm gonna go non-blank up here. And that looks like it worked. actually it's supposed to be a space not a blank because the, the total outstanding is non-blank so now we have all of the highlighted so the concept is not blank at the beginning then spaces at the end because there are spaces where it was so sorry with that we go down and then what we do here is oh, I have to say I have to define the fields first so I'm now going to define the field. I'm going to call this uh, vendor. And now I'm going to save the layer. And what you can do here is you can preview the database. So now you, what you'll see when you preview the database, it doesn't seem to be working. It seems to only highlight the one line. So what we actually have to do here is when it's multi-line, when it's blank cells, use value from the previous. So when you go preview database, you'll see here. So there's four lines, four lines here. Looks good. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So that looks like it's good. Um, and now what you want to do here is you want to press this button. It's called import to idea. Sorry, I should say template first, that's fine. And then I want to generate field statistics. I'm just going to call it 2011 AP. So if we go to field statistics, you'll see that the total is 13,776,396.08 and cents. If we go to the bottom, there should be a grand total and it matches up perfectly. And if you want to make sure that for example, if you missed any vendors or you, you didn't properly identify them, they may be grouped inappropriately. Um, this is actually a check I really recommend doing. Especially, so you go summarize, and then you, what you'll see is 6,800. Let's go to the very top. 6,800. Let's go to the one. Uh, let's go to, let's find A visa CIBC. So what you can do here is you can do criteria. And go close there, and you'll see 16,000. Uh, once you go down to the bottom, 16,895.73 cents. So that's how you import uh, PDF. It is a little bit more difficult than importing text, access databases, Excel, but it is a really important tool and technique that you really should know especially when a lot of your clients won't necessarily give you data in the best format. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment below. But until next time, thanks and have a good day.